Hello, this is Michael Matthews, and thanks for joining me for another video from the Bismarck Weather Education Center. In this video, we'll be learning about some of the worst weather the cold season can give us, blizzards. When you hear a blizzard, a few things probably come to mind. Winter weather that is cold, windy, and snowy. However, only wind and snow is needed for a blizzard. Blizzards can happen anytime there is snow on the ground. Also, there is not a specific temperature needed for a blizzard. At the National Weather Service, we define a blizzard as winds greater than or equal to 35 miles per hour, and falling and or blowing snow that combined with high winds reduces visibility to less than one quarter mile. These conditions also need to stay in place for three or more hours to be defined as a blizzard. In many cases, how a blizzard forms is very straightforward. Intense snowfall moves in and winds increase until visibility drops near zero, or what may be called a whiteout. These are the simple cases for a forecaster. Unfortunately, blizzards don't always develop this straightforward. In fact, it does not even have to be snowing for a blizzard. Skies can be clear. As long as there is enough wind and loose snow on the ground, a blizzard can develop. Sometimes this may be referred to as a ground blizzard since whiteout conditions are confined near the surface. Determining when and where ground blizzard conditions occur can be very difficult and depends heavily on the condition of the snowpack. After a fresh snowfall, winds can blow snow around easily. However, over time, snow will settle and compact on the ground. This makes the snowpack more resistant to being blown around. When the temperature rises above freezing and melting occurs, then falls back below freezing, an icy top layer to the snowpack will form, making the snow very resistant to being blown around, even when winds are very high. The best way ground blizzard conditions can form is with a fresh snowpack that has had little time to settle and has never experienced melting. For this reason, ground blizzards are most common in the dead of winter, when temperatures are the coldest. For more educational videos from the Bismarck Weather Education Center, visit our homepage and follow us on YouTube and through social media. Thanks for listening.